Come on in. And so I want to be close to you. Can you just hold it? Hold the mic like this. Yeah, just in there. And, um, and just look my way right here. And um, just for the record, may I please have your name? Detective Daniel Day. And uh, Deputy Day, can you please uh, tell us um, what's going on here today? So today we uh, apprehended a hit and run suspect um, that found a traffic collision on 10th Street West and Avenue 08. He is now in custody um, and will be pressing charges of hit and run felony as well as uh, gross vehicular manslaughter. Uh, did he give out a statement to you? Did, did he say anything as to why it took him this long to throw himself in? No, sir, he did not release a statement. He has uh, retained a lawyer, therefore he re refused to give any statements about the collision. Okay, and um, how did he, uh, did he come about turning himself in? Uh, we put out the bulletin for his arrest and I guess he got word of it and got a lawyer and walked himself into the station today. We, we uh, choreographed that yesterday. We you know, spoke with his lawyer and, and set up a time for him to turn himself in today. Okay, um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Something that I... I just want to say thank you to the public and I'm sure the family's very grateful. Um, we had a, a ton of hits and a ton of people calling in giving information, so we are very grateful because these were good kids and they didn't deserve this. So I don't... Are they allowed to... Yeah, 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 well? go ahead. Good. Anybody? We just want to thank everybody for your blessings, your prayers, your prayers mainly, your support, your help. Yes, your help. We needed to get this guy out of the street. He did it more than once on the same night. Unfortunately, our, our boys had to pay for it. But just to see the support that they've received, they left their spark Every, everywhere they went and everyone they touched. Just don't forget about them. We need to get these guys off the street. They need to pay for this stuff. It has killed our family. We were already a close family. This just bonded us even closer. We will not stop till we get justice for them. Thank you all for your love and support. Again, I just want to thank everybody you know everybody on Facebook everybody you know just in the AV like the community the way you guys came together for us and then just helped out our family you know we're, we're you know it's about being you know human and good people you know and, and we believe we're all good people and, and you guys showed us that you know as a community the AV there's a lot of good people and we appreciate you guys very much you know thank you For everybody that's coming on right now. I need to get your name up. Can you say your name? This is in regards to the two boys that were killed tragically in the double fatality on January 30th at approximately 10.22 p.m. The suspect has turned himself in. He is in custody. And they're going to say a prayer, folks. We are here at the Palmdale Sheriff's Department on Sierra Highway and Avenue Q.
As you can see, Detective Day is praying with the family. And everybody, thank you. May God bless this family. Guide them through these times. And the suspect is in custody. So, William Alexander Marquez, 34 years old, is now in custody for the double fatal collision for the hit and run. He's in on multiple charges. Alrighty, everybody. So, I'm going to give the family their time. Everybody, God bless you. Have a blessed day. God bless the deputies, the sheriff's department, the family. We will be talking to you all soon. God bless you all.